Hi everybody, Pastor Vince here. Thanks for joining me for this Tuesday edition of Life Lifters. Our whole purpose is to give your life a lift through a five minute blast of encouragement and scripture. This week, we are on the theme, no more excuses. Um, we need to look at our lives and the areas of our life in which we struggle in, and we all have areas that we struggle in. We need to stop making excuses. So we're giving you some tools, some strategies from Romans chapter eight to help you overcome excuse making by changing your life. And here's what I find. Today's title is that if you wanna stop making excuses, it's really a question of a state of mind. You know what I find is that sometimes when we start doing things that are wrong over and over and over again, it becomes so habitual, it becomes a state of mind. We just begin to assume that's normal. We begin to assume that, oh, I'm just always gonna do this, I'm always gonna do that, blah, 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 and we keep making excuses for it because we have the wrong state of mind. Today we're gonna to look at how to have the right state of mind from Romans chapter eight, verse five. So we're cherry picking verses from this great chapter of the Bible, Romans chapter eight, throughout this week. And today I wanna to look at verse five. Let's read it. It says, those who live according to the sinful nature have their what? Minds set on what that nature desires. Your mind is set on your old way of thinking, your habit, your excuse making is simply a cover because you have just fallen into a mental rut. You've just assumed that sin is normal and you're just gonna stay there. But look at what it says. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their mind set on what the Spirit desires. See that? They have a new mind. Their mind isn't set on what they've done in the past on their own strength. Their mind is now set on what God can do through them in the future. And so here's what I have found. And here's what I think the text is telling us. Whatever you set your mind on, that's what you become. Whatever you set your mind on, that's what you become. The choice is simple. Are you gonna set your mind on the way you have been doing things that are wrong? Well, guess what? You're gonna be stuck there because your mind will keep going back and back and back and back and people are gonna see it and see it and you're gonna make excuses, 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 excuses and you're not gonna believe them and they're not gonna believe them. But here's the great thing. You can set your mind forward on the things of God, on the power of God, on the strength of God, on the hope of God to change it. Now, know, you know what I found? Most change in life is gradual. You know, we have a couple good days and we relapse, but then we have a couple good days and we relapse. And you know what I found is most Christian growth, growth in your faith, does not happen like this. It happens like this. It's up and down but over a large swatch of time, you're further ahead than you were, even if in any given day you're not. And it starts with the state of your mind. What are you gonna set your mind on? How you have been or how you can be? You set your mind on what you have been, guess what? You're just gonna be an excuse maker. But if you set your mind on what can be, God can do some great things in your life. What areas of your life have you just got stuck in? You're just in a rut. You're just trapped. You, see, you just can't break free. Well, a little bit later, in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2, Paul says you can change by renewing your mind. It's what you set your mind on. So you need to stop thinking about how you have been thinking, which is going to keep, you know, if you keep thinking how you've been thinking, you'll keep getting what you've been getting, and focus on transforming your mind through the mind of God, through the mind of what God wants, through the mind of God's Holy Spirit. Change it so that you're thinking more optimistically, more hopefully about a different way. It's what you set your mind on. So whatever it is, set your mind on the new thing. Don't expect instant perfection. That's not gonna happen on this side of heaven. But set your mind so that you will make progress. Let's pray together. Father, so often we set our minds on what our minds have been thinking. It's so easy to just simply fall into the groove of what we have always thought. And it takes work to have brand new thinking, God-like thinking, Holy Spirit thinking. And I pray that we will think about what can be instead of what has been so that we stop making excuses. Give us the state of mind we need, God, to think right about you and about life and about how we live. We thank you for this. 
through Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, through you, the whole Trinity. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, it's a state of mind. Get your mind right, and uh, we will see you here tomorrow for another Life Lifter.